Hey, 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 family, it's Evelyn, and I am back with another video in my self-care series. And this video is gonna be fairly short, but I wanna to talk to you about one of my self-care practices that I love, and it is the fact that I take myself on what I call selfie dates. And I got this idea from actually my business coach. She said that when she was uh, first got married and um, when she got pregnant that her mother made her promise that she would date herself every week. She said that her mother got lost in motherhood and, and really kind of lost the sense of who she was. And she really encouraged her daughter, which is my now business coach, to date herself every week that she that, that to make sure that she didn't lose touch with herself as who she was outside of being a wife and outside of being a mother. And so she said ever since she was six months pregnant with her first child, she decided to date herself for 90 minutes a week, every week. And so for almost 25 years now that she's been married, she has dated herself once a week and had 90 minutes of just her time. And I thought to myself, that's a great idea. And I'm not a mother and I'm not a wife, but I was like, I may be one day. And I was like, but even just as myself, I was like, when am I spending time to really enjoy being with me? I'm very introverted. So, you know, I'm introverted and I'm an only child. So spending time with myself is not a challenge for me, but I wasn't being intentional about it. And you guys know when I talked about in the personal editorial calendar about being intentional about your life and that's one of the things that I teach the women that I coach is about how to have intentional self-care as long as intentional business strategies but one of the things that I love doing is my selfie date so every week whether it's I'm just taking myself out to breakfast or to lunch or I'm going and I just want to go piddling and go shopping or whatever it is or whether I want to go sit in a coffee shop or whatever I want to do whether I want to go watch a movie or something like that every week for at least an hour and a half, two hours, because I'm not a wife and a mother, so I, I feel like I have a little bit more time, and you can decide on the time that works for you, I take myself on a date, and I have an amazing time. And I will tell you what's interesting is that when I, when I skip, I can feel the difference, that I need that time to myself to just be Evelyn. I'm not Chef Evelyn. I'm not Evelyn Inc. I'm not Evelyn somebody's friend. I'm not Evelyn somebody's daughter, somebody's cousin, somebody's niece. I'm not, you know, somebody's girlfriend. I'm just Evelyn. It's just me. Me, myself, and I. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Okay, I can't sing. So, I digress. But anyway, I take myself on selfie dates. And I find that that's where I really get a chance to know myself. Sometimes I journal. Sometimes I read. Sometimes I go and sit in my favorite place, which is this pond that I love. And relax. And I just get to be with myself. And it's not super deep like you don't have to you know journal and meditate unless you want to sometimes I'm literally just window shopping and having an amazing time and so for me I have picked a day of the week and a time for me it's Friday afternoons because I really don't want to work on Friday afternoons anyway and I'm winding down and getting ready for the weekend and most people are still at work and so it's the perfect time for just me to take that time for myself to have a selfie date so and that's also a time where I cultivate my interest. If you've been following my single Saturday series, you know I talked about having interest to be interesting, to be interested. That is where I really delve into my interest or I, or I explore new interests. That makes me interesting, which is why I can come and get y'all 31 videos in the month of December. Anyway, uh, that's it, you guys. I, so let me know in the comments. Do you take time for yourself did you schedule it in you know for i have for, i have a friend she's married she has four children and she gets her time in every week whether her husband is with the kids whether she has to get a nanny or a babysitter or a family member has to come she does not cheat on her self time right and so that is a part of my self care so my self care is not this one-off thing that I do occasionally. I have a very strategic plan for making sure that I'm operating at my best because I don't have to be exhausted to be effective. And so I realized for me that having that time to myself is really, really important to making sure that I'm not just not physically exhausted, but not mentally and spiritually exhausted. So let me know in the comments, do you take time for yourself 
where you just go and you just hang with you or is that something you're looking to do and if you need some ideas or some inspiration be sure to join the best life challenge i'm going to be documenting a lot of the things that i'm going to be doing to live my best life intentionally and strategically next year and then also i put a lot of things that i want to do on my vision board and so for those of you who will want me to walk you through my vision board creation process make sure that you sign up for the workshop how to create a vision board that actually Actually works all the details for that will be in the description box of this video all the links and days and times and all of that if you're watching this and we've already had the workshop listen feel free go back and watch it you'll get some great value it really doesn't matter when in the year you create your vision board so uh, I hope you'll join me in the best life challenge and for how to create a vision board that works and I'll see you in my next video peace